Hello friends, welcome to the Power System Experts YouTube channel. Our today's lecture on how to create a subsystem with respect to owner, area, zone as well as from with respect to voltage in the PSSC. So for this, let's open PSSC. So similarly, open a, any sample case or any example. So we are using sample case for from the example that is available in the installed directory. So in order to create a bus subsystem, so you can see that here is a create bus subsystem available under this section. So when you click on this bus subsystem, so first option is available with respect to area. So for example, if I'm, I am interested in this central area only, so I need to basically make a subsystem for this and I need to see the summary and different reports for this central area. Just double click on this. This will available in your selected area and then apply. So you can see that only the central area is selected. So for, similarly, under this section, bus subsystem, you can memorize your subsystem with respect to this. Like for, I'm interested in this memorizing the central area only. So you can memorize and you can create any file. Like, like for example, this is central. And then a, press apply. So it means that I have basically memorized this subsystem. So every time when I will click uh, recall this subsystem, my this the area will be basically selected. So for example, because I have memorized first, so recall this subsystem from this when you click. So here you can see that out of this all this area, central area is selected because niche this case is, only, is a sample case because there is a limitation of node. So therefore, you can see that only some I mean it's easy to find this central area, but in in a larger network. So it's really difficult. So therefore making a subsystem and memorizing us as a subsystem is very important, particularly when you are selecting any kind of generation like wind generation or thermal and especially the solar generation, then you need to make a subsystem for, for that also. So next case and this is owner. So you can select owner also when you select owner. So it means the under area I mean here you can see that the, there are five, six areas and five owners. So based on that different owners are also selected. So under zone, there are different zones like north zone. When you click on apply, so here you can see that in north zone only there are three buses and plant and then two plants and then machines as well too. And similar, there are uh, different loads available. So similarly, you can, uh, that is very next in K, uh, like option and under the subsystem is very important. That is base KV. For example, I'm interested to basically make a subsystem of 500 KV buses only. So like just select 500 and make minimum also 500 and plus press yes and then apply. So you can see that only the, uh, under this section. So only 500 KV buses are selected because you are working on the transmission area. So mean this case is again, this case is a very uh, basic case. If you are working on a larger network like in USCR and different states networks, so it's very helping to be helpful to find the 500 KV buses, only the transmission buses, and you can see the different voltage level, different uh, like different conditions, different reports, particularly with respect to this KV. And similarly, at LV level, like if there is a load is connected, you can find this uh, basically select your ranges here from here. Like if you are interested in uh, just 220 KV and press this 220 KV and then apply it. So it means here there is no 20 KV buses available. So it may be 380, 360 KV. So therefore this option uh, you can no buses available. But but important thing is that so mean you can select any uh, buses with respect to volt level as well. And similarly, if you press no and then from bus perspective. So mean if you are interested in bus number like 101 and you can press OK, then you can pick this bus. You can pick another bus 102. But if you are interested to basically, if you, if you have the bus numbers, you are interested to load different, like different bus number at, at a once, uh, with a once click. So you can add one bus number like 151, comma, then 152, comma, then 153, comma, then 154. Here is very important to uh, step to basically uh, tell you that right after every step, you need to add a comma. Like for, for example, if at this step, if you click an enter so only one bus will be selected the best way the why is it one bus is i have added different bus number but one bus is added to the my selected buses 
so for this purpose to load your all buses at every string you add you need to add a comma and select this multi parsing mode and then click anywhere so here you can see that all buses are selected here so this is also like if you are interested to basically uh, make a subsystem of only wind area like different generation area so get the bus numbers at in the notepad and then add it in the same bus number row and check this multi parsing mode and then you can click apply so it here you can see that different buses are selected without with this with the i mean irrespective of the area and zone zone name and a owner name so you are selected this bus subsystem and even you can recall and you can summarize this uh, you uh, memorize this subsystem as well so next important thing is that if if you go to the any bus number like here in a graphic display section so just press a, a control button and then select by clicking on the you can say left click and select this buses and then right click so here also you can see the create a bus subsystem I mean again i am showing press control button and then right click and select this all and press create bus subsystem so this all press control tab so this is also how to create a bus subsystem as well so this is an also the best way to basically select the relevant area where you are working and where you are interested so this is uh, how you create the different bus level and you can access the different la layers like different voltage levels and different areas of your network case so this is the end of our uh, today's tutorial on how to create bus subsystem thanks